Hey, good morning, Jake. Congratulations. And you're right, it is just off the strip. I mean, the strip, I could throw a rock and it's going to land in the strip. Uh, just right across from the hotels here. I mean, the TV station tower is right there. That's how close to this uh, light display you're going to be. Richard and Roxa putting this thing together this year right here on Robin Road. A lot of work, Richard. A lot of work, but it's well worth it. Yeah, and uh, I mean, it, I, it's got to be a lot of programming, you said. We were talking about programming. Oh, it's a mountain of programming. Probably about uh, 37 minutes of, of music. That's about uh, 370 hours. Uh, so when do you actually start putting all this together? Uh, we actually start in uh, September as far as programming. That's usually June, July. And, I mean, do you just not work? <laughs> Sit at home all day and program? Uh, pretty much sit in front of the computer <laughs> on the off time. All right, Roxa, how, what's, your, what's your take in this here? How do you help out? My take is uh, I'm the placement setter and the financial advisor, and also I pay half of the electricity bill, so. <laughs> well, I tell you. I, I know that it might affect the bill a little bit. Look, we already got some spectators coming for us this morning, <laughs> driving on by. And it's all synchronized to some music. Now, how does this music work? How do the lights and music sync together? Uh, you, you just marry the music to the sequence, and uh, that pretty much takes off from there. Then you program it on an SD card, pop it in the machine, and it runs. Now, let's talk about what's upstairs. I see Santa Claus up there in the top. I see Frosty in your bay windows. How does that work? Uh, that's actually projections. There's actually four projectors upstairs. Uh, each one uh, has got an SD card popped in it, and it just runs on its own, too. Have your neighbors. How do your neighbors love you? Uh, so far, <laughs> no complaints. We do turn the music off and tune it to the FM station in the evening hours, so they're not blasted with the music all the time. Now, I'm looking down here at Rudolph. Is his nose programmed as well, or is that just blinking because it just blinks? No, that's just a blinker bulb. <laughs> okay. I was like, man, if you were getting down to the many details of making sure Rudolph's nose is flashing, i got to give you props on this one. And so you got the trees out here. Who all is up front here? I, even like a little igloo. What's your little display there of your I'm monsters? I'm going to give you over to my creator. Okay, designer. all right. All, of them. all right, Roxa, who we have out this here? This is the Rudolph team. We have Abominable Snowman. We have uh, Cornelius. We have uh, Charlie in the Box. We have Rudolph. Rudolph, and we have Hermie, the dentist. We're missing Clarice because they didn't sell her. <laughs> uh, well, maybe maybe this year find her on clearance somewhere. And now you say, Richard, you use for Halloween as well? Oh, absolutely. We love the Halloween. That's probably our bigger decoration. And we have a lot of traffic come through for Halloween. All right, Jake and Gretchen, I tell you what, it's just it's on Robin Road right over here. Come on. We're going to gonna sing you out here to some music. Again, Robin Road right on the Henderson Strip, 88.5 is where you're going to come on by. Turn that radio up and have a good old time. <laughs>